Welcome back to the podcast. I am your host, host. The host. You host host? <laughs> Mr. Made Over. And I am his co-host, co-host, Mrs. Made Over. <laughs> and we said it twice because this be the second time we've done this. So <laughs> I'm transparent. I think I'll keep it real with my audience out here. Oh, you know gosh. Um, but today we have a special guest, special guest on. I'm gonna a keep that one up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Can't. Uh Miss Mariah Carey is on the podcast today um like i said she released her first hit single vision of love you know which uh was one of my top favorites um she was in you know she was with nick cannon for a while for a while you know what i'm saying then he wilded out he did you know <laughs> he got that that's out. good uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but uh, we do have Julione, and uh, which is I'm gonna let my wife take away from here. I just know the singing background. My wife knows the actual <laughs> background. <So> background. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody! So we have today my little cousin, the influencer Julie Baxter, straight out of the DFW area. Okay, um, and she is a young and vibrant millennial. Your mom, wow. um, and she is a fiance. Hey, <laughs> come on! <laughs> um, and so we are glad to have her today on our podcast um, to discuss what it is she does and how did she get into it. All right, Julie, take it away, Julie. Take it away. <laughs> So yeah, y'all ain't asked me no questions. She questions. said, "Take what away." <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> y'all ask questions. She was like, "Did we ask?" So my thing is, what I want to know. I feel like in anything that you do, you gotta have a why of why you do things. I mean, like especially to continue to do right. things. I, I hope, I hope y'all got a why. But like, what is your why? Like, what pushed you to actually, you know, start off doing this uh, influencer thing? I think my biggest why was to just get outside of my comfort zone. This is something that I would never do, but I'm doing. And I think what pushed me to do that was really my daughter, because I can't, you know, be in that like shell of a person. I need to be mm. able to speak on things and speak out. And um, I hate to say speak again, but like, speak my truth and share, you know, inspiration and just like help motivate other women that are like me. And so. That's my why. Gotcha. Look at that. So um, you said one thing that we always kind of hear when it comes down to millennials. You said to speak your truth. What is yeah. Julie's truth? Yeah. In this process. What is Julie's truth? So my truth is I've learned since becoming a mom and going through that, you know, that process that I am more than just somebody's mama, you know? And I feel like when I first had my daughter, I kind of lost myself into that role, you know, forgot who I was, all like the fashion that I love to do and, mm -hmm. you know, just having a good time. And I just was just so consumed with like being this mom. Mm -hmm. um, and so I wanted this to be an outlet to really just be myself and to be more than that and okay. to show people that you could have Di you know, you can wear different hats. You can have different facets of your life and different roles. And e although motherhood is a very big and important role in my life, yeah. there are other things that make me who I am. Good. I like that. Has this um showed you to yourself, like you said, people can have other roles on how to juggle, not only just being a, a, a mother, but now a fiance. Mm -hmm. And now, I mean, with all these things, how do you tend to juggle this thing? I mean, these things. Ooh. I know. I, really <laughs> I know. I know. It's a lot. And I, I will say a lot of people try to put on a facade that they can do it all and do everything and they're just perfect. But that's not the case. And that's definitely not me. Um, there are days where I get like nothing done and there are days that I get everything done, <laughs> but, <Got> I think, <laughs> but I think just having grace and just trying to have like somewhat of a plan, a little bit of, you know, some organization, but just not to stress yourself on trying to do everything or that you need to do everything. You know, if you knock out one thing on that list to do that, yeah. and you know, 
and and to be okay with that. And there's always tomorrow. I mean, you just appreciate, you know, everything that's going on today, whether it's your kid acting a fool, and that's why you couldn't <laughs> get everything done, you know. Yes, Lord. Um, you testifying? Okay? Yeah, I'm testifying. <laughs> Maybe you got a heart of an influence. (laughs) (laughs) These kids do really be acting a fool. (laughs) Well, I think they get it from the parents. All right, now you want to ask something too? Oh my God! (laughs) Oh, come on! Don't act like we're on mirror. You too. (laughs) Come on! Don't act like we never mirror our parents and what we we, do. We do. We do. Uh. We do. So, um. Tell us a little bit about what you do as an influencer. Yeah. Yeah. So as an influencer, um, I work with different brands on promoting products. One that I feel like that I like, that I enjoy, and that also that my audience would enjoy as well. So I'm not just out here promoting, you know, skinny tea and all that crazy stuff. <laughs> um, it has to be skinny tea? You know, authentic to me. Yeah, yeah you'd be surprised. Yeah, that's really <laughs> um, it is. But also, I, you know, just share inspiration, whether it's through like my fashion or just like my day to day life and things that are going on, whether it's through grad school or my relationship or being a parent. Um, yeah, I, I share all of those things as an influencer. Mm. That's what I do. Yeah. Does it seem like a lot of pressure being an influencer? Yeah. Um, I knew. A lot more than I expected, honestly. And it just recently happened to me as well. But especially with the climate that we're in in our society, especially like politically, um, influencers have a job to use their platform. Um, Yeah. And it's important to not... Some people shy away from that, saying, Mm. you know, oh, this is my platform. It's just to spread kindness and love. But your role as an influencer is to share, like, good and bad, you know, all the things that are going on in the Mm. world. And so it's it's an important responsibility because people do look up to you. I I think that's crazy in a way. But there are women who reach out to me and, and look up to me. And so I feel like it's my duty to, you know, do what I can more mm-hmm. than just sharing fashion and different brand deals and things like that. But it's pressure. It's sure. pressure. I, I can, yeah. I, th- I think for us, it's a little pressure too. Yeah. You know, because we have people um, coming up to us and telling us all the time, like, either, I mean, if it's a food review or if it's just about our podcast mm-hmm. and or our family videos that we yeah. do, um, being that type of I would say impression on a person's life to me is such a, 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 a valuable imprint. Yeah. Due to the fact that they rely on what you say, they go off what yeah. you mm-hmm. say and it's a great responsibility, but it comes great, you know, yeah. uh, 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 power, like great, great power comes great responsibilities. Yeah. And yeah. It's just, man. And I like, and not you, even yeah. do, Oh, you go. go ahead. Uh, I was going to say just not even with people, but just like the society, uh, the pressure of society as well. That yeah. we have to like, per- especially like as women and as mothers, like we feel like we have to put on this picture perfect, you know, reality when that's not the case. You have women dealing with um, body issues. So mm. You have that in the back of your mind and you need to look good. Your hair, makeup, your house has to be clean all the time. Your kids can't be acting crazy. So it's just a lot of those societal pressures as right. well on top of people looking up to you. So it's just, you get it from all directions. Yeah. And I like what you said, though, that you have to give them the good and the bad. Because yeah. with social media out there and being that that's the main platform for influencers, you have to be able to say, you know what? This looks good. This doesn't like I'll give an example. Julie always does these things like when her living room is a hot mess or her bedroom is a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff okay. is everywhere. Okay. But yeah, then okay. she'll do like a reel of her just cleaning up. Mm, and then okay. or she'll give like every morning she'll come through and she'll say what was on her to do list, what she got, what I did you know, what she work. did do and what she didn't get to gotcha. or what she needs to continue on. So I think that's very important for Young mothers, and I'm a little bit, just a little bit older than you, but even like listening to some of that stuff, it lets me know like, hey, wait, you know what? I, I'm not superwoman. Yeah. You know, we want to be superwoman every day, but I'm not superwoman and real life does happen. Yeah. If the kids yeah. are cutting up, you 
can't get much done. No. Or if you're just like mentally and emotionally tired, there's nothing that, you know, you're, yeah. you don't have that will to, to get up and do anything. Well, so, well, well, I'm not going to say that's for everybody. You know? I'm talking about women. No, I'm talking, about, no, okay, I'm talking about men. You know what I mean? Like, like, Here we go. Okay, no matter, let me not even talk about men. Let me talk about myself. Yeah. You know but you're different. Listen, listen. If your kids are acting up and the house is messed up, Put him it's work. plenty to put in work. Hey, go <laughs> but grab the toy. <laughs> have like a two-year-old or a newborn. Yeah. Oh. So you can't put a newborn baby to work. Yeah. Oh, yes, you can. Lift newborn. this bottle up yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you, you, you want to cry, don't you? Before with the blanket, just pop it up. <laughs> do what I got to do. Um, because what what, what, what what the the one was like strap him to him and he, yeah <laughs> <laughs> strap him to him. yeah come on we gonna clean up but yeah. I mean yeah like Julie brings out the practicality of being a young mom mm-hmm. and having a child I mean she has a toddler yeah we went through that fa- I mean and you see we four and seven we still trying to get them to clean up everything mm-hmm. after themselves yeah. um but it's just that thing of realizing that hey this is life and this is what really happens so I think it's really important to be transparent with, it is. Uh, with my following because a lot of them really do think that people are really out here like houses just spick and span and let me tell you I may have took that photo but across the photo is just junk <laughs> everywhere and I just cleaned that one little spot so, just so you could get that perfect do, shot yes so do not like try to compare my like perfect pictures to like real life and right. I feel like on yeah. my stories really is where I show real life because I feel like it's really important um, because then people really start getting down on themselves if they feel like this is what they need to be doing and we're not perfect yeah and you know I'm glad you're giving people a platform to show that you can push past um, your day to day life because a lot of people struggle in Mm -hmm. that day to day life and, and they really don't I think as influencers you really have to Understand what you have in your possession. Like when you're giving people that way out, it's like, man, I never thought about that. Mm-hmm. You know, like giving people like normal, average, day to day people. Like you don't have to do this. You can do instead of doing this, try this. Right. Try something different. You know, each day type mm-hmm. of stuff. So tell us, Julie, about your um, one of your events that you had to do for like shooting content. Well, well, first, uh, ex- let's explain what con- shooting content is for those people that are yeah. listening oh, and they yeah, don't know. Shooting. Yeah. Know. Um, so bad shooting is when you shoot all your content in one sitting. Um, and that goes for like YouTubers. They, you know, record all their videos. Um, Instagram influencers like myself, we will shoot all our like photos and all our like fashion content all in one day. So I plan all my outfits, about like four or five outfits. Um, And then we go to a location early in the morning and then we just take photos, change, take photos, change, take photos, change, take photos until we get all our content for however long we plan to do it for. So we usually do it for two weeks worth Mm. of content and then we go back out every other week. Wow. Wow. I sound like what the girls just did this weekend. (laughs) (laughs) To my eye kids? Yeah. (laughs) Julie, they had a whole whole content shoot in the back Uh-oh. of the truck. Yeah. <laughs> I looked at my phone. I'm like, how many? How many pictures did you? I mean, a full fledged content. Like, full I mean, they ain't fled, clothes, I mean like, yeah, that's the only thing that was missing. They ain't changed clothes. But they ain't photoing it up. <laughs> <laughs> Memory full. Right. Um, but what was your favorite? Um, what was your favorite gig that you had to do? Yeah. Explain that. So, um,. I, yeah, it's still my favorite one. Um, but I worked with a uh, what is it? A management company that owns several malls mm-hmm. um, across the nation, and they own three out here in Dallas. And so they we did a contract for three in feed posts, 
and stories. And so they paid me for each post, which was my highest paid deal. Um, but then they also gave me money to go shopping at each mall. Come on. And man. so <laughs> that was really, and I had a real, a, like a lot of creative freedom as well. So I, they were, there wasn't any specifics. They were like, just go to this mall, go to these three malls and take photos. And it was really geared towards uh, safe shopping, like social mm. distancing. So that was the whole promotion that you can still shop safe and the malls are, you know, taking preventive measures and things like that. And, um, yeah, it was fun because I got to go shopping for free. And take, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't for free. I mean, I was getting paid for, but yeah, um, I went shopping and that's easy work because I do that all the time. So mm. <laughs> I got paid to go. Sh- I got paid to go shopping. Got paid it. to go shopping. <laughs> wow. That's good stuff. Um, yeah. We're going to need that contact. Uh, we like to go shopping. We want to go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to. I already uh, I reached back out to them again. Because uh, I was uh, like, I really enjoyed, you know, working with you guys last year. So if there's any opportunity again, I'd love to do it. Right. So, yeah. We'll see. Wow. My thing, we, we, we are actually getting to that uh, that whole thing, which we won't share on here until we actually get our stuff worked out. But we are, people are. Con- yeah, connecting reaching with us out already, and uh, having la- having us trying to do stuff, uh, sending us free stuff. You know, yeah, anything that's, that's free, great. it's also awesome. very awesome. Yeah, <laughs> especially if it's something that, especially if it's something that you were gonna one buy anyways, or that you already use. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And I think we just did a uh, review on it, and it was just like, yeah, yeah. we'll send you this. And so, you- <laughs> sure. Okay. Do you yeah, want this yeah. as well? Yes, we do. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Well, go ahead. What else you got? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> but um, I think that's the biggest thing too um, is that we have to know how to tap into like the creative side. Got to. Um, so cool. whatever. Girl, come on. Hey, it was your bad self. You're so sad. <laughs> Good tell. <laughs> <He's> sad. <laughs> but like we have to learn what our individual niche is yeah. so that we can start pursuing it. Um what is the the thing, Julie, in this particular industry? What is the one thing that you know people may run into as far as yeah. like challenges? What is one thing that you can say? Um, I think the biggest one is time management. Um, because I think a lot of people go into it thinking that, oh, this is easy. This is just like a snap of a picture. And there's so much background work before you even get to snapping the picture. Mm. And I think some people underestimate that and it can be overwhelming when it comes down to it, like getting to the picture part. Um, but there's a lot of creative planning, um, as far as like, how are you going to, how are you trying to get the message across for whatever content you're shooting, uh, outfit choices, locations, um, caption planning and writing all of that. There's just a lot. And then the photo taking itself is a whole other process because that can be kind of, it's a lot. And then editing that content afterwards to make sure that it's presentable to put out to your audience as well. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a lot and it can take a lot of time too. So people think they can just get it done in one day or like I said, just take the photo and it's, there's a lot more work that goes into it. You probably should shoot that background work. Maybe, maybe let them know like exactly like how a real behind it is. the scene. Yeah. Behind like a the behind scene. the scenes. Yeah. Like, listen, <laughs> like y'all baby. getting the finished product. Y'all not getting right. it. <laughs> yeah. And that's why people have give influencers such a bad rap where they think it's just like oh they're just posting pictures and getting free stuff and it's just like do you know what i had to do for this the contract i had to review and sign the planning the taking the actual photo the outfits the time of my my time every day that i'm putting out into this like it's a lot of work yeah because the one thing too i want to point out that julie's not just an influencer like julie actually has a real job on top (laughs) on top of it can you, didn't I tell you not to bother us with this podcast? Close, close the door. Sure. sure, bye. See, this is seeing them children, Julie. See them children. Kids, see? <laughs> Juggling. But, um, yeah, Julie, it, Julie actually has a full-time job, is in school full-time. So, influencing mm-hmm. is not like all she does. But yeah. when you see... Oh, I, I'll speak to myself. When I see the content that is being put out, like that reel you did, like you, you know, where were you like downtown? Oh, 
Yeah, your outfits. Um, yeah, I was like in this little area outside of downtown, like gentrified neighborhood. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, oh, man, like she had on four different outfits, different little movement. It's like literally, and that's all from. And that's another thing too with that shooting is that you're also creating other content. So mm. all those outfits were my bat shooting outfits. So you'll see those outfits throughout my post later. But I, you know, you also have to make the most of your time. So if I knew I was making those four outfits, like, oh, I can make an outfit reel, you know, and do all those things. So you're trying to get any and all type of content in one sitting. And that included that video that I made. Got you. Got and it was hot, too. I got I, I didn't show you that. Um I gotta show you, but it was really, it was really nice. Even the music, like even the music with your movements, like yeah. all the way down to a T. And it kind of reminds me of, you know, what he does behind the scenes. I can't say what we do, but what he does mostly behind <laughs> the scenes with the editing and just the yeah. thought process behind it. It's it's not just a, oh, I can do that. And I'm sitting yeah. here like, dog, Julie put some work in. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I think any, any anything video or audio yeah. video related. Is it, it takes it takes a yeah. creative mm -hmm. mind, and yeah. it's nothing that you can just sit there and do. I mean, because you have to be so outside the box, right? Like, yeah. Compared to what's yeah. out there now, like yeah. you got to be like, okay, if I do this, I got to make it boom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's how even it is now with like like story posts on Instagram. Like I don't know if you saw my McAllister's thing, but mm -hmm. before. I don't know if you've seen like my progression. I feel like I've gotten better. But before, yeah, like you. when I've had to like post, you know, sponsored content for stories, it was just like me and my phone, like, this is what I got. Open the box, you know, versus <laughs> now you. it's like, let me do a, like a whole little video. Yeah. My, my sound over the video and actually make it look like a commercial in a right. way. So And it did. <laughs> like that McAllister, like you made me like, man, I need to go to McAllister's <laughs> right now because oh you hadn't had McAllister. Have you had McAllister's? We went to McAllister's is so good. It's so when good. they reached out to me, I was like, ooh yes. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Yes, I said, that's a word. You want me there now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, and I and I kind of watch a lot of the things that you have been posting, like when you went, um, I don't know, was it a coffee place with the stair? Well, oh yeah, and that was just me going, like just to go. I was meeting someone for a what to do like wedding stuff, so yeah. That was yeah. such a nice place. And then like three people went after I showed it. <laughs> they did. Because I was like, somebody yeah. said, yeah. So it's yeah. like the influencing thing went from um, guilty of buying the Target fluffy slippers, more than <laughs> one pair because of Julie. Yes. <laughs> um, the Shein hauls. You know, I got into that heavily. I'm looking forward to my next haul. I got to check the account, Julie. <laughs> it's time. Yeah. <laughs> but I've been racking up my points. So I'm at like $5. Yes. Oh, yes. So, yes. I, well, I'm on $6. So, you don't know, this is stuff you don't know about. Reviews. Have you been leaving reviews too? Because you get more points. Yeah, I reviews. saw that. Yep, I did. I love some reviews and I got the points from that too. Look, he looking like, what? what? So, Julie is definitely influencing oh, um, uh, this household over here. Deacon D.I. <laughs> said it the best. Uh, she can have whatever she likes. <laughs> 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 um, I had a question. I just forgot. Okay, See? I'll take it from here. Go screen. ahead. You go right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you a mess. Um, for those who are actually trying to get into this, um, don't give no names. Mm -hmm. Don't give no names. Don't give no company. Mm -hmm. What was the worst thing you had to do? Could you have a good? You had we heard the good, but what's the worst? So they can get the scenario of the good and the bad. I think the worst is because when you're starting out, you're a little naive. And so you have you're I guess willing to take products and stuff with no compensation and you end up putting you know a lot of work into like making these posts. And then sometimes it's like products that you would never use and so it's like not the best thing in the world. So I just don't be naive to people like making comments like, oh, collab with us. Ooh, do this. Or I'm an Amazon seller. Sorry. But. <laughs> um, oh, she means, you know, yeah. <laughs> or I, I have products on a website that I'd like you to just don't. Yeah. Don't, don't fall for it, honestly. Um, a lot of scammers out there that will take your money. Um, 
it's just not worth it. So, so you mean those people that are sliding up in my DM talking about they checked out my profile, which is private, by the way, and they want yeah. <laughs> they want to partner with me. <laughs> I get them all the time. Like, I get, like yeah. but I your them. but the difference is your pro, your your profile is open. Mine is yeah. private, so there's no way you can have you have seen. No way. <laughs> it, it's a scam. And then also, I will say, don't allow mean influencers to like make you not want to do it because there's a lot of them out there where you'll go to them for advice. You know, you have questions, and they're very like. Yeah, you know they go either they'll they'll see your message and ignore you, mm. or they basically will kind of like not really give you the details that you need. So don't let someone's no or one mean influencer being rude stop you from you know getting answers and really like putting forth effort into doing it because yeah they're out there. I mean, but that's ev- with everything that you do. Yeah, that's part right. of the territory. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Julie, what is, um, well, do you partner with anyone yeah. um, for your bat shooting? Like, do you have a partner in crime that you yeah. kind of, well, not a partner in crime, but, you know, a partner in shooting. <laughs> that don't even sound right either. Partner in shooting. <laughs> yeah. FBI. We don't a mean partner, A partner in content. There, there. FBI, yeah, please. I have, I, have, I have my bat shooting partner. Her name is Miriam. Um, actually I slid into her DMs a year ago, like around this time. Um, and because I noticed like she, at the same time we had like the same type of account as far as like followings and everything like that, we pushed out similar content. She was also a working mom. So I knew that she just couldn't go out Tuesdays at 10 AM, like other moms can that are like stay at home moms. So I reached out to her and asked her like if she was available one weekend to shoot content, if she wanted to. And we did. And like our first meeting, like we hit it off and we've been shooting content together ever since. Mm. Wow. Yeah. That's good. And now she's a really good friend content. and she's planning my bridal <laughs> shower. <laughs> Real? Oh, oh, that's right. Okay. So she's the one planning everything. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. A bat shooting wedding. A bat shooting wedding. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna do, that's what you're going to do on the side, bat shooting wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to be shooting a lot of content for this wedding. Let me just say that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to get this content. Uh, just because I have a lot of sponsorships too for the for the wedding, like with my dress and everything. So, mm-hmm. okay. yeah. yeah. So, we're looking wait. forward to I think it's something else that you do on Fridays. Um, I'm going to let you break it down. It's not Fridays. Oh, Friday. Oh, yeah. it's something yeah. she does on Fridays and, I, and something she does on the weekend. I, I'm trying to pay attention here. You have two things that you do. Things. Yeah. So first thing Fridays is officially filter free Fridays. Hey, is we um, hashtagging it? Yes, <laughs> we are hashtagging filter free Fridays. Hashtag filter free Friday, um, where I just promote. I guess women just really showcasing their authentic self mm-hmm. um, and loving themselves. So I realized that I was using a lot of filters all the time. And this was especially when I was like suffering really bad from like hormonal acne. And so I just, you know, society makes me think that I need to be perfect and have perfect skin. Yeah. So I was using the filters all the time. And then I realized, you know, this isn't what I look like. And so if anyone were to see me on the street, they'd be like, she catfishing us. <laughs> <laughs> Not catfish. <laughs> so I just, you know, I thought Friday, I mean, one filter free Friday was like perfect. All F. Um, So I just decided one Friday to like just show myself, you know, show who me, you know, and all my flaws and really women really gravitated towards it. They loved it. And it was just another way of showing that, you know, you do not have to be this picture perfect person that society wants us or makes us think that we have to be. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, now every Friday. A whole bunch of different women, people that follow me, people that don't follow me, all participate (laughs) in Filter Free Friday. That's what's up. That's that's beautiful. And even if we, uh, cause I mi- I miss Friday, but I got on Saturday, and I'm like, yeah. Hey. So like, even if we all miss it, some of us are still posting on Saturday, and you can actually yeah. just go through. And it's so many different women from women that um, you know wear makeup and all that stuff, and then women who are just all natural. I'm doing my hair, mm-hmm. I'm feeding the baby, like you know, yes. this is Breast true mom beautiful. life. Yeah. So, so this, it's really beautiful. So this, this 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 is not. A man thing, huh? We would love it to be a man. You, it's an I mean, men can thing. jump in. 
Yeah. I feel it's like I'm a, I, I feel like I'm in the women's aisle right about now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but maybe if you're the first man to jump in and more do it, more men will do it. Josh might I even will. do it, right? Hey, if yeah. Josh do it, tell my boy Josh. Josh built it free every day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do Every it as day. a couple. I do it as a couple. We'll do you know okay. We'll do yeah. filter free. Okay. A little couple eye boogers here and there. You know, mm-hmm. there's your filter free. <laughs> and I think too, like a lot of men, I don't see participating in it because my audience is maybe nine percent men. Mm-hmm. So wow, most of my audience is women, and that's changed. It took a lot of time to change that to get those numbers, but yeah. Probably need a stud like me to go on there. That's what it is. Right, we <laughs> Motivate these men. Listen, we can be filled to free too. <laughs> Do it. It's I'll about being it. together. You and know she what I'm sh- and she does. She, Julie goes out I'll and share. she reshares. Yeah. And anyone that tags it, I'll share it to my still like Friday. Basically, my stories are consumed with filter free Friday. It's not my day. It's y'all's. So yeah. I've noticed that. And then what do you do on Saturdays okay. for the DFW area? So uh, one or two Saturdays a month, I am I founded a DFW Millennial Moms group. We are actually the one of the largest mom groups in the Dallas area. Got you. And so we will do either like a mom's day or night out or we'll do like something for the kids. Um, but it's just a way for other women, um, other moms. Um, like me to go out and just you know get together just whether it's without the kids so we can just have some time for ourselves just to you know be women and have somebody else that we can relate to or if it's something to get out with the kids so they can meet other people and interact mm. yeah. yeah so you just out here content and just creating out here <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm just trying to do as much as I can. That's good. <laughs> while, but while in school and while, yes, while planning school, a wedding. Wedding, mm-hmm. full-time job. Yeah. Yep. All that. And, you know, dealing with Nick Cannon and his issues. Um, <laughs> I mean. Also, you know, Grammy ending. nominations, you know. I mean, yeah. paparazzi trying to follow you. What happened with you and Nick? Listen, I'm bad you know, shooting. <laughs> It's the, life, it's the life of a diva, you know. You just gotta. Oh, let's stop this. <laughs> Leave her alone. But <laughs> sad, so sad. Ah, this is this has been yes a wonderful, wonderful time. Uh, yeah. Mm. Any words you want to say to a person who is trying to get into being an influencer? Um. I would say to just be persistent. Uh, and uh, there's another word for that. I be persistent, consistent with it, um, and be authentic. Just be your real self. People are going to gravitate that towards that. Um, and do not try to compare yourself to any other influencer or blogger, or anyone out there that's out there and have been has been doing it for a while. Just don't compare yourself to them, and just start where you are. Comparison is the thief of joy. Yeah. Um, you know, and just take pride in where you are now because then when you look back a couple, you know, in a few years, you're gonna see all that growth and it's gonna be amazing. So yeah, just do it. Do it scared. So yeah. do you have anything to say to young women who are doing you you're kind you're kind of rookie. I'm a rookie. Thing, oh know. my goodness. You know we rookies. We we climbing upstairs. We right are now. <laughs> we are uh, <laughs> <laughs> um I would really say don't be afraid to try new things. Um, If it is something that catches your eye or even something that somebody else sees in you, give it a shot because you never know your potential. And sometimes it does take others to see something in us to um, to step into that thing. And I'll, I'll take like us, for example. I would never have created a logo ever. I would do it on the side and just kind of play around with things. But it took, you know, my husband saying, hey, I need you to do this logo. You need me to do what? I need you to do you need what? So um, I've grown. It's been what? Not quite six months. <clears throat> nah, not at all. Not, not even six months. And it's something that I have grown to love in conjunction with 
um, my full time job. And just so you guys know, Julie and I are both in the education field. Um, so we believe in schooling. We believe in the education side of things. But we also know that there's an entrepreneurial side. And sometimes that is where some people may fit. So um, if that is you explore it. Um, do not count yourself out and um, like like Julie said be consistent yeah. um, be persistent and don't make excuses on why you can't do it yeah because we're both moms um like I said Julie's just I mean we're not even too far from age but we still know that our daughters have to see something that is positive and we have to show them that it is important to have a voice and go after what we're seeking. So. so true. And, you know, as being a content creator on uh, YouTube and uh, Instagram <coughs> and Facebook and uh, we see it. OK. And, and uh, you see him plugging uh, hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and Twitch. Uh, being a content <laughs> wow, Julie. creator. This I, is about Julie, not you. Hey, I thought we was all sharing. I like wing. Stories, you know, that's how they get them. It's the Julie show. But listen, I want you to always don't be afraid to do things mm. again if it doesn't work. As y'all see, we did it again. And what y'all don't see, first time it didn't work, but we came right back. Right. And I believe that this interview and everything else was better right. than the last one. Yeah. But I'm telling you, push through. It don't matter what it looked like. Like, I mean, don't compare yourself. That's always a great mm. thing. Be you. And don't worry about the mm -hmm. likes, the subscribes, the <laughs> follows. Just be who you created right. to yeah. be. Don't come be, with time. Right. Yeah, come and on. be be authentic. Like, don't pretend that your grass is, like, super green when you know you got some yeah. spots. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Got some crab grass, girl. Right. Yeah. You, know? you know, unless you sit up here with some turf, but you know, yeah. other than that. You are sitting up there with turf. <laughs> Say you got turf. Say, hey, this is not <laughs> real, y'all. Let me tell you. It's not really so, is. But, um, Julie, we definitely thank you for um, deciding to come back, you know, and doing, yes. like I said, doing it again. Because yeah. uh, I was like, man, we didn't get them, yeah, man. Yeah. And I'm like, let me check, you know, let me check your schedule. But we definitely appreciate you coming back. And I do agree, like, this was... Um, Probably better than the first one. Probably. Um, or okay, Ooh. it was better. Julie disappeared. <laughs> but well, my, my thing popped up saying I had low battery. Uh -oh. <laughs> but um this up. Uh. But yeah, so we definitely <laughs> we bet we definitely thank you so much for coming back um so that we can go through this again because we totally feel that um people need to see you. Um I you know, I see you, I support you um one hundred percent, you know you're my cousin but even if you were not you are a positive you know woman of color that is doing great things so um that support is is definitely there um from us anything that you need please let us please know, let us know. We got you. um and you know i'm gonna continue to be liking share and whatever <laughs> filter free and shopping yes. whatever, whatever you need um we're gonna be working it but you just continue to um do what you need to do um and then always remember to take those moments for yourself in the midst of all of the planning that you're doing and you're gonna be stepping into a new phase of being a wife and so with that you transition from you know boo thing to like mm -hmm. i'm wife bay now so yeah. you know it does come nah, different you, you boo thing plus wife boo, boo thing plus <laughs> wife bae. <laughs> both both but just keep Ladies, in mind just be um, all you can be right there, I'm right to tell you. <laughs> but um you know even from you guys that you know you'll be newlyweds if you ever need any advice in that area please you yeah. know don't hesitate because there will be you know some hard roads fighting time but you know love is not easy but it also it co it conquers all so um we're in your corner and we definitely thank you for sharing yeah. and being so transparent with us today yeah. No, thank you for having me again. Oh, no problem. <laughs> so we, we always let Mariah carry on here. All right. And like we always say around about this time, keep God first. And the rest will be added. And hopefully we'll see Julie again. on this YouTube platform. Yes. But we shall see. We shall see. We'll you see, see y'all later. <laughs>